welcome back guys to yet another world of warcraft video on this channel today i have a little bit of a quick one but also a very helpful one for anyone that might be wanting to work on ults for a dragonflight now before we do get into it make sure that you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with all the notifications on and i do want to thank all the patrons over on patreon for greatly supporting me every single month for like so many names are on there it's actually insane so if you guys are interested in tsm groups um Point Blank Sniper shopping list for Auctionator. Point Blank Sniper is a sniping add-on, obviously. And, and you also can get access to a very long document of daily gold-making activities for all timies. And all this stuff is getting updated for Dragonflight. It already has gotten updates, and it will be receiving more in the future. So if that sounds interesting, Tier 2 is the one for you over on the Patreon. Thank you guys very much. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. So, something that we figured out after the profession skip... Basically, let, giving you a couple of dragon shards. After that was disabled a couple of days into the expansion, still to this day has not been uh, re-enabled. Something that we have figured out is that um, after you have completed the campaign, the leveling campaign on a main character, and you have unlocked world quests, right? Unlock world quests. Then you can hop over to an alt, and what you do is you hop over to Fork River Crossing, okay? Fork River Crossing is right here between the Onaran Plains and the Asher Span, right down here. This flight point is something that you have immediately, so you can go here pretty much ex exactly when you've leveled your character, or you can just, you know, fly down in your dragon, it doesn't matter. You are going to be picking this quest up to the Asher Span. Now, all we're going to do is fly over to where you can see 800 yards away. We're going to fly over here because at the Fork River Crossing is where you're supposed to be able to pick up the Dragon Shark quest. I'm going to show you what happens when we turn in this quest. Right here. We're going to turn in this quest. Boom. That's all we do. And then we fly right back to Fork River Crossing. You guys saw that the only quest that we had there was to the Asher Span. Now what actually happened was I think because of how the uh, game is designed, that basically tells the game, oh, now this player has completed the Anaran Plains. I don't know if that's like, supposedly, since we've unlocked all the content and we get to decide how we actually want to do this, this seems intentional, right? But now you can see we have all these quests here and you can see, show your medal, we get that. And then you can see Dragon Shard of Knowledge. So, what has basically happened now is we have access to all of the um, all of the fa all of the quests rather that will give us dragon shards, and now obviously that gives us one, another one there, and another one here, and then we are going to be getting just one more. Uh, but that quest we are going to uh, get as a secondary quest after completing the first two. So that is pretty simple. Uh, but that is all you have to do to unlock dragon shards. As soon as you've been up here, the master of their craft. So when you fly up there and you turn in that quest, then you've unlocked this NPC. You can see right here, we're going to talk to this guy, get a dragon shard, and then you can see slay a thousand miles of the gold. So that's all we have to do. We walk right over here. So now that we killed that guy, or that mob right there, we can fly right back to the NPC. Right back in here. And then we turn this in. And now we have unlocked the NPC for Dragon Shards, okay? So this way, uh, we'll be at the point where we've received three. There is still the bonus one, the Wonders of the World. And you'll see we get another one from that. So we get a total of four for doing these quests. It takes, you know, 10 minutes, five minutes to get there maybe. And you can do this immediately once you get to level 60. Uh, you do have to realize that that skip or that thing will not work if you have not unlocked specialization points. You cannot get the quests until you have them. So you need to be at least 25 in your profession before you can actually do the quest to get dragon shards. That's also very important um, if you're out trying to get dragon shards or if you think, oh, why am I not getting dragon shards? That is probably the reason, okay? So you do need to get to 25 just to make sure that you can do this quest line and you can unlock the NPC. But that is everything that I have for this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching and until the next one. See ya!